Bum ass hoes got me fucked up acting like I want to smack the shot of bitch. Bitch, I'm really with it for real. Fuck what you talking about? Ugly ass. Watch where you step, bitch. When I point that Ruger, you fuck niggas getting sprayed. Hit, pull up on the block, roll the gas on some gang shit. Broke boy spent his last dollar on that lame bitch. Fazos on my feet, yeah. Watch where you step, bitch. When I point that Ruger, you fuck niggas getting sprayed. Hit. Alright, bro, I'm about to pull up. Get in the back, back of the back. Duck your head. What's up, you guys? It's your girl K, and you're watching K Minute TV, and I'm back with another fucking story time. Now. I'm gonna be cussing. I don't wanna hear nothing. Like, if y'all don't wanna hear me yelling, if y'all wanna hear my loud mouth, ghetto waves, this ain't the video for you, sis. It's been a while since I made a video. And again, y'all know how I be. Uh, with everything that's been happening with all these deaths, COVID, looting, I've just honestly, and people ask me how I've been, I've been depressed as hell. My anxiety has been at an all time high. And I'm not finna get in front of no camera and play up a facade like I'm oh so happy when I'm not like, bitch, I'm scared. Like, I'm going the fuck through it. And anybody who knows me knows when I'm going through stuff, shut down. Y'all not gonna really see nothing. I spoke a little bit about the, um, looting and all of that that little situation on my community tab but besides that, i really I, I don't really say too much um i haven't posted at all you know what i'm saying so again this is a long awaited story time but if if you have been on my lives then you already know that this was coming okay honestly i've been really trying to hold back with making the story time because again i know how i am Bitches know I will violate them. Bitches know I will beat them up. So it's no like, it's not like I'm scary or anything like that. And the whole thing about the story is I wanted to fight. People, you know, just don't want to fight me. And I mean, it is what it is. And it might sound childish on my end. But when I actually tell y'all what the fuck is going on, y'all gonna understand. So I'm actually, I decided, I was supposed to give you guys two story times. But I'm going to give y'all the main story time. And by the title of this video, you know that she called the police. She called the police. She didn't call it on me. But she called the police. Okay? And I'm going to tell y'all why it got me so hot. You know what I'm saying? But also, I was supposed to give the same story time on this one girl where she got drunk at a party. And I came to, like, save the day and all of that. If you guys want that story time, because that's a story time within itself. You feel what I'm saying? So... If y'all want that story time, you know what I'm saying, then I'll give y'all that too. You feel what I'm saying? But if y'all don't want that, then y'all won't get it. But I'm telling y'all, like, these two story times is some shit. Okay. So, we gonna name this bitch, um, Apple. Okay. So, I've known Apple since high school. Probably my senior year. When I was a senior, she was a sophomore. And I don't know how me and this bitch became friends because genuinely, like, we're alike, but we're completely opposite. Like, my level of not giving a fuck is higher than hers. But, you know, she's kind of up there. And she don't give a fuck about what she say. I don't give a fuck about what I say either. But the difference between me and her is... I'm not trying to put up no facade of something that I'm not. You know what I'm saying? And I just kind of feel like with her, she, she love to cap it off. She love to cap it off for the internet. She love to cap it off for her friends and shit like that. <laughs> Bitch, I barely even got friends. So, I don't really have nobody to cap it off for She's fucking internet. Internet is fuck. I can't stand that shit. Like, if you see me step out of my character for somebody, you know good and damn well. You know what I'm saying with me. Like, but her, she always yap, 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 yap. And I used to tell her, like, bring that shit down. You feel what I'm saying? Like, and another thing is, she a hoe. Okay, she's a hoe. And I'm not. And I'm not even trying to be funny. Everybody in my life know. Everybody know my life know what this hoe be doing. And baby girl, I got too much shit on you that you don't even want me to start airing your shit out. I'm not going to do that because I'm not the type of person. But please do not fucking play with me. Because people playing on me with... Everybody been playing with me when it comes to this internet stuff for a while. Like I can't end people's lives. You know what I'm saying? So, that's neither here nor there. I will be drinking in this video. Get your cup ready. Get your blunts ready. I ain't, I ain't trying to smoke today for real i'm for the smoke my heart out tomorrow so i'm just i'm trying to chill on it you know what i'm saying so it'd just be a red cut for me but the story time is some shit so get ready okay okay 
so <sighs> i used to deal with apple for a while but over time like apple we always used to fall out we were just on and off on and off and everybody about me knows that like, i don't like falling out and getting back cool with people so like every time we would make up she always reached out to me i feel like once i fall out with you and i feel like there is no substance it's a wrap, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I know somebody, somebody probably gonna be, well, you made up with me. I mean, yeah, I mean, but with her, she just used to always do weird shit. And at a point, she didn't want me being friends with people who were in my life before her. She was just really doing some weird stuff. And the last time that we fell out, I really like it. I really didn't have no hard feelings towards her. I was like, I don't give a fuck no more. I don't care. But it actually turned out that one day I had ordered DoorDash, my fat ass, and she was my DoorDash uh, delivery driver. And she came to my door. She was like, Hey, I'm like, Oh, hey, like, cause my thing is I don't hold hate in my heart for people. And my thing is if I still dislike you after so and so and so amount of time, I will never fuck with you again. And it's probably up the when I see you. You know what I'm saying? So, but with her, I didn't feel like that. With Apple, I just felt like, you know, she's young. Because she's younger than me. You know, she don't understand how I think about certain things. And again, like, she's just not meant to be in my life at that point. So, after Apple had delivered my food or whatever, we got back cool again. And we fell out in the summertime over something. And she was just... Saying, I don't, I don't care about nobody, what they got going on, and nah, nah, nah. I'm like, alright, bitch. Deuces. My thing is, like, if I could block you on everything, and, like, I don't want you having no way to contact me, then I don't fuck with you. And I know a certain person watch this, like, well, you block me on everything? That's different. You still had a way to contact me. But, with her, it was just like, I, I really don't care. Like, again, no... Again, no hard feelings. Like, I don't really care no more. But you you gotta, bitch, you gotta go. Like, it, it is what it is. So, how the fuck did me and this bitch end up getting cool again? Honestly, this last time, I don't remember how we got cool. But I will say this, like... When I, when me and her got back cool and stuff like that, like, she was just very down on her luck. Uh, she has a child and she was just very depressed, stuff like that, boo boo boo. And me, like, I hate seeing people that, you know, I care about hurting, you know? Because even with the amount of times that we felt, like I said, it wasn't really no bad blood. But it was just like, you're, you're a mother, you know, and I can only imagine how it feels to struggle as a single mother, you know. I, I could struggle on my own, you know what I'm saying, but to be a single mother and to struggle, that's just a whole different ball game. So I helped this bitch get a job. I used to get this bitch money. After all this little fuck shit that she was doing to me, you know what I'm saying, like being extra and all that shit, I used to, I used to help her out in any way possible, and I never got shit back in return. Don't get me wrong, like the bitch, she, like she gets some food or whatever, but that was around the time stimulus checks came, and that's a whole like thing. And I'm just like, you ain't never bought me food before. Oh yeah, my stimulus came. Oh, that explains why I finally got a meal. Finally, let's fast forward to last month, okay? Last month in May. Um, again, we got them stimulus checks, and that's when she got a car. She ended up saying, fuck the job that I helped her get. Got a whole nother job. Car broke the fuck down, so she couldn't get to that job. Then trying to come back to the job that I was trying to help her get in. They fired her ass. She had to go. So, it was one day I was working. <laughs> it was one day that I was working, and she messaged me earlier in that day before I had, um, I was getting ready for work and she was just like you don't talk to me no more blah 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 because prior to her texting me that I don't talk to her no more was the story time of where I saved her when she was drunk and shit like that and she pulled some whole op shit within that thing so I just was like bitch fuck you cuz I ain't got time for all that little extra fake ass shit period so she texts me like you don't fuck with me no more you don't talk to me and <laughs> anybody who was on my on my on my uh youtube live i was on there she told me i treat her like a dirty wet food stamp <laughs> so i should actually we gonna call her dirty wet food stamp because 
that's what she said I treated her like, right? So, she's like, you treat me like a dirty wet food stamp. You don't fuck with me no more, blah, 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 blah. My thing is, she came with too much drama. She came with too much baggage. It's too much stuff that I know about her. She was getting herself caught up with all these fucking niggas. And these niggas was gang affiliated. And, honey, <laughs> I will not be involved. Period. Point blank. Like, I'm not gonna lose my life because you being stupid over some stupid ass niggas and some stupid ass bitches. No. So, she was like, you know, you don't talk to me, blah, blah, blah. Nah, 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 nah. I'm like, you know, well, at this point in time, like, I was going through some shit and then I'm depressed. My anxiety is high. Like, I don't have time for your shit on top of my shit. And every time that I'm saving you, you know what I'm saying, you're fucking it up again. So why would I, you know, put that type of stress on myself when you're not showing me that you're grateful and you keep doing the same thing over and over again? So then I stopped messaging her or whatever because I went to work. Tell me why I'm almost finna, I'm finna get ready to get off work, blah, blah, blah. She was just like... I'm up here at the job because she wanted to get her stuff out of her locker and see if they like cleaned it out before she could get there. So she was like, well, do you want to ride? And I'm just like, I, something told me to not get in the car with her. And I'm just like, mm. some was just like, God, do not get in the car with her. But I'm just like, you know, I don't live far from my job. I'm like, you know, a little five minute ride that you know that ain't nothing you know what i'm saying like what could go wrong my dumb ass so she got to the job and everything everything was cool she actually came in it was like hey and stuff like that i was just checking see my locker everybody like hey so 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 because they knew her through me these people knew her through me let me tell you something everybody in my job they fuck with me and if they don't fuck with me I don't, I don't know about it you know what i'm saying like i'm cool with everybody i don't have no drama with nobody i just come i do my job i'm cool with everybody we can have conversations everything is cool you know what i'm saying and people fuck with her off the strength of her fucking with me you know what i'm saying so she came in, she was like, hey, talking to everybody, blah, blah, blah. And then she was like, I got something to tell you. And I'm like, what's up? And she like, I'm moving. I'm like, moving? When you moving? She was like, the 22nd or the 23rd. I'm like, oh, where you moving to? And she's like, Arizona. And I'm like, you moving by yourself? She was like, nah, I'm moving with this, this nigga that don't even care about her. And I'm like, look. Who am I to tell somebody what to do and who to do it with, you know what I'm saying? Like, And I was just trying to be nothing but supportive because it sounded like, you know, this is a decision that she wanted to make. And I'm just like, you know, if that's what you want to do, by all means, if you feel like you can advance, if it can help you get on your feet, go ahead and do it. You know what I'm saying? But I just don't understand, you know, how you going and you moving away with some, some random dude, but you're not going to take your child with you. You know what I'm saying? I get like some people, they got to get on their own, but... Nasus. So, also she brought her friend. We gonna name him Scary, cause that's honestly how he was in this fucking situation. Scary and um, Dirty Wet Food Step or whatever. They was walking around the store until I had got off. So after um, no, I missed it apart. So it's almost time for me to get off and she was like you know do you want to come do uber eats with me and scary and i'm like no because my thing was this girl was caught up in so much stuff and people was on her head ain't nobody on my head you feel what i'm saying like i don't need that type of that type of negativity and me always having to watch my back you know what i'm saying i move comfortably everywhere that i go i'm not gonna be around here looking over my shoulder for somebody who ain't even looking for me you know what i'm saying but again affiliation so I ain't got time for it. I'm like, no, blah, blah, blah. And she was like, why? Why don't you come? I was like, my ex is trying to see me. And I was not lying. But at the same time, I was not trying to see this ex. Again, I don't have a problem with this ex. And I know this ex watched my videos and stuff like that. And it's no hard feelings to you. But I did use you as a cop out. Because I didn't want to be around her. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, It's not like... I disliked her, but she just came with too much negativity, too much drama. So I'm just like, my ex want to see me, blah, blah, blah. Girl, you finna get you some. I said, no. Like, you know, we're past that at this point. You know, I have no problem with him. He was like, you know, my ex was texting me like, I'm going to pull up. I'm going to come see you because he just got a car. And I'm like, you got a car? Okay, let me see your car. And then this is another way for me to get away from dirty, wet, food stamp and scary. And she was like, okay, well... 
I'll just drop you off and stuff like that. So finally we get to my uh finally we get to my house or whatever. And they pull in the driveway and I'm just like, why you pulling the driveway and you dropping me off? You know what I'm saying? But it's the people who live upstairs from me. And um the boy has a four-wheeler. It's like it's it's a big four-wheeler that you can ride or whatever. And he was outside riding on it, and she was like, Oh, I wanna try, I wanna try. And I'm like, do not get your big ass on this fucking bike. I didn't say big ass, but I was like, do not get on that bike. She gonna roll down the window. You should let me ride it, blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like, do not let her ride it. Remember, I said, I told him to not let her get on the bike. So, then I decide I need to go in the house. I need to change my clothes because my ex had texted me that he was on his way or whatever. And so... I'm going, I'm changing, stuff like that. I Every time, like, well, not every time, but when I get off work, if I feel like it, I smoke, I roll up and stuff like that. So I was getting my weed or whatever. I was going to roll up and all that. And I decided to go back outside and see what they was doing. Why the person who live upstairs with me let this big-ass girl get on this fucking four-wheeler? And I told him, I'm like, do not let her get on the four-wheeler. So she gets on almost hits a fucking tree she did not hit the tree like i said i did not mess with her but i'm not gonna pretend like she did when she did not she did not hit the tree but after that had happened then he got back the dude that lived upstairs for me he got back on it and he was riding it like it was fine i go back in the house i go get something to drink on i get something to sip on or whatever and i come back out and they like something wrong with the four-wheeler and i'm like you know they ain't got shit to do with me because i ain't get on that motherfucker and i was like i told you not to get on that motherfucker so it was smoking the oil was running out blah 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 woo, woo, woo. my ex pull up my ex pulls up bam hits this rock that's been on this on been on the ground since four fucking ever like he hit the rock girl oil started leaking out his car and all this extra stuff he ended up leaving as soon as he fucking left that's when shit hit the fan okay so he texted me he was coming back and i'm just like okay you really don't have to but at the same time i was like you know he coming back i'm like when y'all leaving <laughs> like you know what i'm saying like cause it's time for y'all to go like i didn't say y'all could stay you feel what i'm saying like what did one ride equivalent uh, equivalent to you know um you staying and even when my ex had showed up she would Dirty wet boots that was like, oh, he's cute. He's really cute. I didn't ask you if he was cute, bitch. And manage business. You feel what I'm saying? So, he's like, I'm going to come back. Blah, blah, blah. Woo, woo. Remember that I said that. So, next thing I know, I go in the house. I don't know what the fuck happened outside. But apparently, shit hit the fan. I'm walking out. You know, I'm getting ready to smoke. Bitch, you owe me money. You broke my shit. Fuck is wrong with you? The dude upstairs, the dude that live upstairs from me, is cussing out dirty wet food stamp. Okay? And they going back and forth. Like, she like, nah, I broke it. He was like, you owe me $3 for gas. She's like, $3 ain't shit. And he was like, give me my shit now. And I guess she wasn't moving fast enough. This man decides to open the car door that she had dropped me off in. Now, mind you, this ain't her car. This was the dude that she was messing with car. She decides to open the... He decides, excuse me, he decides to open the car. Swipe her phone out the car. He was like, "You gonna, either you gonna give, my, give me my money or I'm finna get my sister to beat your ass. And she like, you doing too much, you doing too much. He was like, I'm doing too much, I'm doing too much. I right, watch this. I'm outside. I'm like, watch what? Like, what we watching? He was like, you finna see. So he go inside. I'm following behind him. He called his sister. So, so, get up, get up, get up. This bitch got me fucked up. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I went back outside. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? What did you do? She like, Kyle Lauren, Kyle Lauren. He's saying that I broke his bike. Blah, 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 blah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm just like, why did you get on it to begin with? I told you not to get on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, why did you get on it? So then he like, bitch, you got me fucked up calling her all type of fat, bald-headed bitches, broke hoes, talking about the car that she was driving, all this and the third. Next thing you know, Dirty Wet Food Stamp gets mad. 
And she like, you don't want to get my shit? All right, I'm calling the police. Then her friend, Scary, she was like, Scary, call the police. This nigga says, on it, douse it, and call the fucking police. And I'm like, we finna call the police over some over three funky ass fucking dollars. And I'm like, wait a minute, who you calling? And I talked I talked to Scary. I said, who you calling? She was like, gee, he calling the police. Y'all, not y'all. She was like, he got me fucked up. How y'all run off with my phone? Don't get me wrong. Him running off with her phone was wrong. But you didn't have to call the police over something that could have just been handled if everybody would have calmed the fuck down. And I kept saying, this can be handled so much differently. Nobody's listening to me. I'm talking I'm talking to the dude that lived upstairs with me. He was like, Kat, she broke the bike and now she don't want to pay for it. She going to either pay for it or my sister going to whoop her ass. Tell me why the sister come outside with Tim's on, ready to fucking fight. And I'm just like, what the fuck? The dude upstairs violating Dirty Wet Food Stamp, calling out our name. And my thing is, Dirty Wet Food Stamp didn't come alone. She came with Scary. And Scary was standing there the whole time, quiet as hell, when um, shit hit the fan. So you letting this man, well, he 18, let's be completely honest. Dirty Wet Food Stamp is 20. The dude that live upstairs from me is 18. Scary is either 21 or 22. But I think he's 20. No, he's actually 20 or 19. No, he's 20. My bad. So, he just going in. The dude upstairs was just going in on Dirty Wet Food Step, blah, blah, blah. The police pull up. And he like, you really called 12? You police as hell? Fuck is wrong with you? You broke ass bitch? That old ass car? And I'm just like, gee, chill. I'm still trying to have her back even though that she's wrong because my thing is why you call the police over something so small i could see maybe not even maybe i could see no i could see maybe if he put his hands on you that's when your friend scary is supposed to stand up and beat this kid ass but instead y'all call the police i'm a whole mom out here and then she was like i might be pregnant i can't fight this nigga and i'm like Now, mind you, at the job, she did tell me that she might be pregnant. But, again, she said she was going she was gonna get an abortion anyway. So, my thing was, now you worried about being pregnant and shit like that. But you didn't even want to have your kid to begin with. You know what I'm saying? So, she was like, I can't fight this nigga. All that. Uh, and then I'm like, bro, all this is over a phone that you're going to. And I'm like, you're going to get your phone back. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, I'm going to get your phone from him because i was trying to get the phone from him but she kept running her mouth to the point where when he was about to give me the phone he was like no nah, fuck that she keep running her mouth blah 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 the police pull up where i live at if you call the police three police cops gonna come so it's a whole bunch of police outside in front of the house it's fucking embarrassing as shit and eventually the post was like you got her phone he's like yeah i got her phone she broke my uh she broke my phone really blah 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 and it was like, well, you got to give her a phone. He was like, oh, you want your phone back? Threw the phone and hit the ground. Case. Uh, he took the case off of it. Threw the case somewhere. Threw the phone. Apparently the phone cracked. And she was like, she was like, gee, my phone. Because, no, at first, before he threw the phone, she was mad about the case because he had took the case off. And she was like, gee, that's a, uh... That's a $13 case. I No, she said, that's a $15 case. I said, if it's about the case, I can get you a new case. I can send you $15. $15 is not nothing to me. You know what I'm saying? It ain't even your problem, G. It ain't even your problem. That's when he threw the phone and the police was there. He was just showing his ass for real because he did not give a fuck. And she was like, G, my phone that has all my baby shit in there. And I'm just thinking like, you barely even around your child. So is it really about what's in the phone or is it the fact that it's the phone and she was like, all my baby stuff in there, blah, blah, blah. He cracked my phone. I'm like, let me see the phone, you know. Because like, at this point, like, it's not even my problem, but I'm willing to fix it. I'm willing to get her phone fixed. If it's really broken, it ain't even your problem. She ain't even your problem. I said, if it's broke, let me see, and I will get it fixed for you. She started talking crazy to me. That's what shit went the hell. So... But at this point, everybody in my building is outside. 
it's a whole thing. She's sitting in the outside, well, not the out, well, she was leaning on the car, scary, way in the back, being silent than a motherfucker, not standing up for his friend, a female, against a male. That's one thing I, I, I don't respect. If you a male and you don't defend me against another male, that's a problem, you know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> finally, things is calming down. The police is trying to settle the situation. The police trying to come to me asking me what happened. I said, I don't know what happened. They're like, did you not say I don't know what happened? Well, did you see? I don't know what happened. I was inside. I don't know what happened. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what made shit hit the fan for real because I was not out here. And manager, the boy upstairs, his, his friend was out there, but he really don't count in this story. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody was just like, y'all bugging. Y'all doing too much. So, then, finally, when they started calming down, I, I got something for y'all ass. Dirty wet food stamp get on the phone. I'm for the call my sister saying, you really for the bring over here? And when I said that, that's when I got mad. I'm like, you really finna bring your sister over here? After you done caught the police over here? She said, gee, shut up, shut up. I said, no, you ain't gonna talk to me like that because now you bring your problems to my house. And if that, and if she comes to my house, then that's gonna be a whole thing within itself. And then now, it's gonna be a problem. And the girl, the girl um, who live upstairs, because... The boy who live upstairs, his sister that came out to fight Dirty Wet Foods that was like, you bring somebody over here, I'm going to beat your ass for real. And then that's when she started hitting the fan for real. So the police made Dirty Wet Foods step leave. And uh, they made Dirty Wet Foods step and Scary leave. And um, I text her like, where you at? Because at this point I had her location and I see she wasn't far from my house. And my thing is, you supposed to be going home. You know, you, you, you a couple blocks down, what the fuck is you on? So I tell her, like, where you at? She calls me. Gee, I'm not coming back over there. Blah, blah, blah. I said, you don't have to come back over here. Whole time, the boy upstairs made the situation way deeper than it was. It wasn't even about the fucking gas. It, it was about a whole little small thing that could have been fucking fixed. And I'm like, well, it turned out so-and-so and so and so and his peoples was apologizing to me and they want to apologize to Dirty Wet Food Stamp, but I mean, she blew it out of proportion, so. Well, nobody really trying to talk to her, so they came and apologized to me and told me to tell her that as well. I don't give a fuck about none of that, blah, 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 blah. Cause she was just talking crazy on the phone, going off and all this, that, and the third. And I'm like, look, G. Cause she hung up in my face. That's that's what shit really got bad. She hung up in my face when I was just trying to make sure she was okay. And I'm like, you know what? I'm done. I'm tired of you talking crazy. I'm tired of you taking your anger and aggression out on the wrong person. Because where was your energy at when these people was about to beat your ass? Like, don't fucking play with me. Then she was like, she sent me, I hate when people send me voice messages. I find it real funny. Bitch, if you got something to say to me, call me or pull the fuck back up. So, we're going back and forth in the messages. I'm going the fuck in to the point where the people who was at my house, they came in the kitchen and they're like, is everything good? I'm like, no, I'm going to beat this bitch ass. And I call, I call her out on everything. I said, first of all, I find it real funny how I'm the only one that was trying to have your back rather than the person that said passenger seat in the car with you right now. So, let's talk about it. And then, then, G, blah, blah, blah. I said, bitch, I want to beat your ass. Pull back up. I ain't pulling back up. Blah, 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 blah. And then, talking all that shit. Bitch, you a, you a pussy. And I don't like that at all. Motherfuckers went and go add, uh, add me on Facebook, blocking me on Facebook, all uh, this, that, and the third. Unsharing their location because I said, I'm going to come to you. I know where you at right now. Bitch, turns off her location. Right when I say, I'm pulling up to beat your ass. I kid you not, I was calling all my people. I was fucking upset. <laughs> and I talked to... um. I talked to somebody who like my brother. I was on the phone with Jay. And I'm like, I want to kill this bitch. This bitch got me fucked up. Because my thing was, I'm putting myself on the line for some shit that you did. I'm defending you even though you wrong throughout this whole entire situation. You know what I'm saying? And like off the strength of them people fucking with me. Imagine if they didn't. It would have been a problem for me. And then you're trying to send problems to my home. We not finna do that. You know what I'm saying? So finally when I'm like, bitch, I'm finna beat your ass. Pull up or I'm coming to you. Stop sharing location. Blocks me on everything. Okay, you scary bum bitch. Because one thing everybody know about me, like, 
I don't really entertain nonsense. Everybody know that I really don't entertain nonsense. It's very less likely that I will get out of my character. But once I step out of myself, we got to fight. Like, and I step completely outside of myself. You know what I'm saying? And I haven't I haven't stepped outside of myself in like over a year. And it's still up there for that bitch. Period. But I don't really like stepping outside of myself because I'm cool as hell. You know, I get along with everybody. I don't have like issues with people, you know. And for you to do that when literally everybody in my building was ready to jump this one girl. And even your friend scary when somebody that I knew had went up to him and asked what's going on. He said you was doing too much. He said it wasn't even necessary. But I don't really understand him because he was the one that was like on it and called the police. You know, federal as hell over something that didn't even need the police involved. But it was just like, you gonna do this to me out of all people who's really trying to like save you. You know, and it's funny because earlier this, <clears throat> early this month she came into my job. And she was asking, oh, who all here? And I guess once they told her I was here, she tried to roll her eyes or whatever, and she left. Bitch, you know I want to beat your ass, so why the fuck did you come see me? Because at the end of the day, motherfuckers know I'm really with that for real. I'm not, I'm not going to say too much. And once I say I'm going to beat your ass, when I see you, I'm beating your ass, period, point blank. Like, I don't like that, you know what I'm saying? And the fact that she ran off... She was scary as hell. And the girl came back and told me, it was like, oh, I didn't know and stuff like that. I'm like, it's cool. Like, it's not your fault. And she was like, she did that. Because everybody know me. I don't be in drama. I'm cool with everybody. And they was like, the way that she was giving out that energy was like, as if you had did something to her. And we all know you. Like, you cool as hell. I don't be with the drama. Even at my job, like, I'm cool with everybody. People be trying to make me pick sides. I ain't picking nobody's side. I'm cool with everybody. I'm cordial with everybody. It ain't no beef. Especially over here, but when it's beef, then it's beef for real. So I guess she got out of there quick as hell when she found out that I was here. Well, I was there that day, and that's the last I heard of the bitch. But that's the end of that story time, you know. Motherfuckers don't really want to see me for real in real life. Motherfuckers ain't really about what they be talking about. That's why I be like, motherfuckers be so fucking internet. But I'm really with that shit, you know what I'm saying? If you really want to get, if you really want to get it busted with me, we could do that, you know. But um, besides that, I'm cool as hell. I don't got no beef with nobody, you know what I'm saying? Like I just be cool, man. None of my business, make my money looking pretty. Period. And that's the end of this story time. I just want to say thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure that you comment, like, subscribe, share this video, tell a friend, tell a friend about more. And if you guys also want that other story time about the time she got drunk and I had to come save her. Let me know, because I don't have a problem giving that story time, you know what I'm saying? It actually made me end up seeing people from high school that I really did not fuck with. And if you guys want to know how that went, I would definitely do that story time. Because that story time happened before this story time. But again, I don't mind sharing it. But again, thank you guys for watching this video. And I would definitely see you guys in the next one. Bye. Swear, swear, swear. This is a mellow beat.